The reading that I'm going to do today is about our inner child um, and um, how we can work with him or her um, more closely and in a more supportive, nurturing um, way so that we can um, so that, so that we can um, meet them where they're at and um, with what they need from us and so that we can work together in harmony and balance instead of opposition because I think a lot of the time um, we as individuals, as humans get stuck in this kind of like push-pull situation where we want to be kind to and nurture our inner children but then at the same time we're kind of scared of their emotions and also we don't necessarily have time to, um, to, to, to be there in that space as much as they might need us to be. Um, you know, our inner children when, when they're kind of having an emotional moment um, it's not necessarily the, a moment that's convenient for us. Maybe we're in the middle of something. Maybe we're, we're you know, kind of like busy about our day. And, and so we, we push it aside and we, you know, we brush off those feelings or we su suppress it. And then our, our inner child feels neglected and abandoned and uncared for and unwanted. Um, and that's when the problems arise, when this behavior, this pattern continues and continues and continues and, and you know, takes, takes place over the course of our lifetimes. Um, and, and helping our inner children is all about checking in as often as we can and making sure we do so at least twice a day, like first thing in the morning and last thing at night, but more if we can, and that we gradually like ease out our lives so that there are bits of space for our inner children to speak and be heard to um, because I think as adults we all have children who weren't listened to you know that the, the infant part of us um, experienced moments when when our needs weren't met when we weren't heard when we weren't held when we didn't get you know what it was that that our heart was crying out for um, through not necessarily any fault of you know our parenting or our upbringing um, but but just because you know um, I don't I don't think um, there are many people out there that were perfectly parented I don't think there are many people um, who know how to perfectly parent so you know if you weren't perfectly parented and then you have children are you perfectly parenting your children does anybody even know what that means what that is um, you know, even if you had the most beautiful, loving, kind, present parents, um, you'll likely still have wounds, still have, have things that you've had to, as an adult, work upon. Um, you know, so this isn't about blame, this is about showing up as an adult for our inner child. And, um, you, you know, we're like, kind of like accessing what their need is and then doing our best as an adult to meet them where they are. Um, so that we can comfort and calm them and they can be happy and content. So that's what this reading is all about. The reading is all about like, what does my inner child need from me right now? Um, so we're just gonna connect into that. Let's see what the message is for us here. Just shuffling the cards. And I'm going to ask the question. Okay, so we've got two cards that came out. The first card is the tarot card. So the tarot card tells us that this is how our inner child is feeling right now. Um, pretty scared, really. Um, our inner child feels like they are 
living inside a tower that is falling apart like if the tower is their house yeah maybe it's like the place where where you have put them so that they can be safe away from the world like for example you know rapunzel in the tower um in the fairy tale um and our inner child feels like that they've been living in this tower for their entire life we put them there to protect them a long time ago when the world seemed scary and threatening and when everybody um, on the outside um, was acting like they were out to get us or that is how our, you know, how our child self perceived things to be so in fear um, and out of love we decided to put our softest most delicate part most vulnerable part into this tower in order to protect them um, and they have lived there ever since and we have believed in our hearts that we were doing them a great favor because in putting them in this tower we have we have protected them from harm from the outside like people can come at us things can happen and yet nothing can can touch our inner child they are you know they are invincible um to to the the forces from from the external world um but the problem is that in this tower they cannot go outside and play in the sunshine they cannot meet other people and have you know friendships they cannot grow up and become adults and mature they cannot um, fall in love they cannot have successful careers they cannot travel and go abroad um, there are prisoners, yeah, so they might be safe from the world, from, from being destroyed by it, but they also, they cannot grow up, they're frozen in time, they're trapped, um, and, and that, this is what, like, where our inner child has been up until this point but something has happened recently and you might have done you know your own personal work before or therapy before and, and really tried to, to do the inner child healing and maybe you felt like you've done a certain amount but this card is telling us that whatever you are doing at the moment um, it is it is deep and it is important work and even if it doesn't feel like it's healing you maybe it feels like it's triggering you it's frustrating you um, because it's not healing you in the way that you want and you're not feeling any better maybe you're feeling worse at the moment this card is basically telling us that that things are changing um, things are happening big things are happening and these are good things but I don't feel like it at the moment because it feels like our tower is being attacked and it's crumbling and it's falling down we've got lightning kind of coming at our tower and there's like stormy clouds in the in the background and um the crown you know the, the cap crown has fallen off this this kingdom so it's like the golden crown has been knocked off and this tower now has no roof and all the elements are getting in and it's burning um and you know basically the only the only way to survive is to jump out of the tower into the unknown and that's what our inner child feels like at the moment she feels like or he feels like that they're being they're being pushed out of this tower like the tower is 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 crumbling and it's on fire and it's no longer hospitable and the the only thing to do is to jump out of the window but like out of the window there is nothing there is this void there is just like a clear shift uh, sheer cliff face and then nothing black they cannot see any further and so the idea of jumping is terrifying but this card is is, is basically saying it's like that th 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 this is how your inner child feels yeah terrified um at, at their whole world falling apart and crumbling but as an adult we can look at this card and we can go oh actually that's a good thing it means the work we're doing is actually getting in there it's deep work and it's it is doing what we want it to do even though it's not necessarily as gentle or kind as we want or at least from our inner child's perspective it feels like everything is being tugged away like we're we're being asked to to give up everything to release everything to surrender to to the great unknown 
Um, and that's that's like a deeply scary thing. We don't like change as human beings. We we like our our routine and our patterns and our creature comforts. We like to know where we are. We like to do the same thing every day, see the same people, have stability and security in our lives. And this card kind of says that that that's not happening at the moment. That everything is up in the air. Everything is in flux, and it's very difficult to sit in that space. Um, and our inner child is, is struggling with that. But the, the way forwards, the way, the, the way that you can help support your inner child right now is the message in this card. This is what they said. And that is the Ace of Swords. So this card is all about upholding the truth. Um, you know, the, the Ace of Swords is, is basically, we have a sword coming out, there's a hand coming out of the clouds, so that's like spirit, yeah, coming out of the clouds, holding this sword, and then on top of the sword is this wreath, this crown, with, um, with greenery coming out of it. And like um, one side looks like these, like um, olive leaves and some olive berries or something, and then the other side, it it almost looks it's like either um, either like palm fronds, or um, perhaps it's seaweed from the sea because we are above a turbulent sea. Like the sea in this card is it's like purple and it's blue and it's really moody and passionate and and angry and. Um, it's just dark. Um, you know, if we were if we were on a boat in the sea, we would be terrified, and and that's how our inner child feels right now. They feel like they're on a boat in the sea, and they're terrified. There's so many emotions going through their body, their head, their mind, everywhere. It's like, ah, um, you know, there's 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 no comfort. There's no there's no like safe land, safe ground, nothing to cling to. Um, and what they want you to do is they want you to basically be like this calm hand coming out of the cloud, this voice from above, yeah? Like if, if you were having a moment and you were really scared and then God suddenly started speaking to you or your guardian angel suddenly appeared and started having a conversation with you, you would instantly feel calm and and more stable and more confident you would feel supported you would feel safe because you would you would understand okay there's there's something bigger than me here there's something stronger than me here there's this energy that can support me that can keep me together that can kind of like hold space for me so that I don't fall apart and um you know there, there is advice to be had as well guidance to be given um, and that's what your, your inner child is asking for. It's like, please speak to me. Please give me guidance. Please be there as my older brother or sister or as my, you know, my, my spiritual mother and my spiritual father. Please show up for me in that way as a person who knows, um, you know, who knows more about the world, who is wiser um, and, 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 and be there like telling me the truth don't lie to me don't like um you know fuzz it up so it's all like fluffy and pretty and everything and more easily digestible it's like they want to know the truth they want you to tell them from a grounded compassionate place yeah so it's not like a vindictive truth it's not a harshly spoken truth but it is it is a truth coming from a wise place yeah, so if your higher self were talking to you, your adult self right now, they would be calm, they would be honest, and they would tell you exactly how it is. They're not going to lie to you and tell you, oh, it's okay, you know, um, everything's going to be okay at work, and you're going to keep your job, and it's, it's fine, it's not a problem, and hey, next, next month they're even going to give you a pay rise. They're not going to tell you that if that's not the truth. If the truth is that you might lose your job, or the truth is that, um, you know, that, that your company is, is, is now in bankruptcy and going into liquidation, then your higher self is going to tell you that 
you know, things probably aren't going to work out here in this situation with this job because of the things that are going on for your bosses and for the company. Um, so maybe it's time to start thinking about what you would really like to get, you know, out of your life in terms of vocation and to, to start putting out feelers and trying to apply for something else. And that's what your higher self will tell you. They will tell you the truth so that you could plan ahead and you could be prepared. And so that when you do find out that, you know, you're going to be laid off, um, that, that, that you then won't be shaken to the core and kind of traumatized by it and sent into a spiral of panic. Your higher self is going to prepare you by telling you the truth. Um, and that's what your your inner child is asking for. They're saying, please don't don't tell me that the world is okay and that everything's going to be fine and that we're going to keep our house and that you know that that, that our partner is going to stay with us and that um, you know we're going to be able to go outside and mix with our friends and and hug and kiss and you know do all of the things that we used to do. Um, if that's not true or if you don't know if that's true or not your inner child wants to know more more um, along the lines of hey sweetie um, you know we don't really know at the moment nobody knows the answer to that um, you know with, with this I'm talking now in kind of like in, in, in a in a, the context of the world today yeah but I want you to look into this in a bigger way in a more personal way to how it how it affects you but just in a broad sweeping statement our inner child might be scared about what's going on in the world today because of the pandemic and every all of the uncertainty and instability it has caused and maybe all of the things that it has brought up for you in your home in your life so your inner child isn't going to want you to say don't worry everything will be fine life's going to get back to normal in months in a month's time maybe life is going to get back to normal in a month's time we don't know that um, but telling your inner child that, even though it might comfort them in the moment, isn't preparing them for, for the future and what may or may not happen. And then if, you know, if we all end up having to, to go back into quarantine again and we can't go out again for months because, you know, things have got worse, then our inner child is going to get shocked and traumatized by that. We are far better off telling our inner child that we don't know. It could go either way just explaining what's going on in in practical terms saying that you know we what we need to take precautions still and we need to be careful when we go outside we need to be conscious we need to think about other people so you know like not to ne necessarily go too close to them or if we're feeling sick to not go out at all um, we need to take care of ourselves a little bit better than usual. We need to take maybe some more supplements, eat some more like fresh fruit and vegetables just to make sure that our body is as strong as possible. So, you know, even though you might not like your Brussels sprouts or your kale, um, it, it, for the time being, it's in your best interest to eat them. You know, things like this we're telling our inner child, you know, kind of that the, the, there are going to be some compromises that need to be made. And in terms of our house and our jobs and our relationships, well, whatever truth is going on for you, this is what we need to tell our inner child. So if, because of what's going on, you're, you know, you're looking to downsize temporarily um, in order to take a bit of pressure off, then you can sell that to your inner child in a way that doesn't sound scary and terrible. You can tell them that it's a new adventure and it will be nice to live somewhere else. And hey, you know, downsizing could be quite fun because it means we can have a big clear out. We can get rid of a whole lot of stuff, which means we're going to feel lighter and freer, less tied down, less suffocated by it all. And it's a great cleansing process to go through. And living in a smaller place is exciting because it means that we get to decorate all over again and we get to be more minimalistic in our approach. And so it's a new and a, it's a different way of living and it's a bit of an adventure. We can make it into a challenge. It's something exciting. Um, Job-wise, that also could be a challenge, if you know, to, an exciting, fun challenge because you get a chance to dive into and explore what, what maybe you would really like to do instead of that job that you stayed in for ages because it was, it, you know, the security it offered you of, of the fact that you didn't have to worry about your bills when you had that job and you were scared of taking a jump and then maybe regretting it and, you know, the, so 
we can look on the bright side of things instead of the dark side of things. And I think that's what our inner child is saying. Our inner child is saying, look, I am stuck on the dark side of things at the moment. I'm really scared. And like, you know, I'm like a, a, a six-year-old who has accidentally stumbled into your Netflix account and watched an episode of The Walking Dead. And right now I'm feeling shaken to the core and terrified. And maybe if you're like me, um, even as an adult, if I stumble into an episode of The Walking Dead, especially now, that I would be shaken to the core and terrified. I mean, that program, especially now, I just, I could could not go near it or anything in any, you know, nothing, well, catastrophe wise is, is coming into my orbit at the moment or probably ever again. Um, because I want to make sure that, that, that my mind is a safe place and that my inner child does not have nightmares. Um, and I think what's going on in the world at the moment creates enough nightmares um, without our adding to it. Um, you know, I know I've had my fair share of nightmares recently um, and that's something that I've had to work through and process and heal because of all the stuff that's being brought up and I think a lot of stuff is being brought up at the moment by the events that are going on in the world and it is a big mirror up to our faces about all of the stuff that we still need to work on and heal and we all have stuff that we need to work on and heal we never get to the end of that journey it is continuous because we heal something and then that layer disappears and there's another wound underneath and that layer disappears and there's another wound underneath and then there are all the things that are happening in our life all around us that, that might you know bring up new wounds or create new wounds and every new relationship we make is fundamentally there to help us to heal another wound and that is why we are here on this earth is to to work through these things and to experience and feel these things and heal them that is what we chose to do we're not here just to have fun and play and make happy families and everything we're actually here to learn like life is a a a school and it is an intensive course and it gets harder as we go along but that is part of the joy of it because learning is fun if we approach it in the right way and if we approach it in a gentle loving manner and in the manner of a child where we are curious um, and where we want to have a bit of fun with it as well at the same time then that can be a pleasant journey but if we approach it as a serious kind of adult who's a little bit timid and scared and who's worried about anything that kind of like shakes the foundations of their life because then they feel like their their ability to control and, and hold on to everything is being challenged um, then we're going to find it miserable and I think at the moment, like, you know, our ability to hold on to and control the things in our life is very much, you know, it's not there at the moment. That's been challenged um, in everybody to a certain degree, some people more than others, depending on your, your actual individual circumstances. Um, and your inner child is feeling that really, really deeply. Um, and they need you more than ever to, to, to be there, to comfort them, to give them soft, encouraging words, to tell them that the world is going to be okay. And this card is asking you to do that, but it's at the same time they're saying, look, this card is not painting a pretty picture. This card is saying, you know, you need to be the light in the darkness. Your word is your sword of truth. And it needs to be a bright light shining in the darkness. And it needs to, you know, to have on it, well, it's wearing this crown. So this crown was like a fire crown and it's falling off and it's not useful anymore. And it's a crown of kind of like anger and fear and destruction. Um, and this crown is a crown of, of growth. Yeah, it's a nurturing, mothering crown. Um, but at the same time, it is sitting on top of this sword of truth and your inner child is saying do do not paper over the truth for me because I was going to find out in the end anyway and then I'm going to feel abandoned and I'm going to feel deceived and betrayed and that's really going to hurt me and then I'm going to feel even more you know detached from you um and, and then, I'm, then I'm just going to be really lonely and I'm going to feel like my mother doesn't care about me or my father doesn't care about me. And, and then I'm going to be 
back here all on my own stuck not knowing what to do and this card is so this card is saying in order to to help your inner child leave this place and be okay you need to 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 be to them like an angel yeah be to your inner child like your guardian angel speak to them about hope um about compassion about community about growth about new things that are emerging paint them a picture of a beautiful new future but one based in reality and give them practical wisdom and advice um not some cookie cutter kind of you know um christmas postcard whatever version of of, of things um so i hope that was helpful to you um i hope that has helped you to connect with the part inside of you that is perhaps um finding it a bit difficult right now and if you weren't connected to your inner child before you watched this video then maybe watching this video um, has enabled you to connect to that part of yourself and to feel what's going on or has um, you know um, awoken a curiosity in you to go away and tap into to yourself and your inner child space and find out what's going on in there and what's needed and and what's being said um, so that you can be a better parent um, and if you do want to do that like everybody is different there are different ways of connecting with your inner child but you can put your hand on your heart and you can feel into that space and go well, okay what's going on in here what am I feeling and connect and then and then try and speak to your inner child and maybe it will also help to have your hand on your stomach as well on your womb space um, and connect to your inner child there or, or only on on that space it really depends on on where your inner child is inside you right now um and what's going on i personally find um that that i i connect to my inner child and and her emotions more going to my heart space but then i can get a deeper connection if i then put my hand on my womb space at the same time because when i put my hand on my womb space she feels more comforted more protected um so it's more like my hand on my womb space kind of anchors and grounds her and then she is more able to speak to me from less of a panicked place from a calmer place like she feels more held and supported i guess in the same way that if you're holding a baby you support them by the head and then you support them under their under their bottom as well and so that's that's kind of this the sensation that 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 for me works for me is that whole like that supporting of, of that that inner child self who is who is residing inside um if you would like to ask me any questions about this video um please do leave a comment in the box below or you can go to my website lemonrosepetals.com lemonrosepetals.com and send me an email from there if you would like to book a private reading um, you can do so from there as well. I also do um, energy healing and spiritual consultations, um, you know, in inner child work. Um, so, so yeah, just go on there, have an explore, and you can find out a little bit more about me. If you liked watching this video, please do give me a thumbs up, um, and also please subscribe to this channel. Um, and I will see you back here again soon. I hope. Thank you for watching. Bye.